Well, I didn't expect to be making this video today. Pokemon just revealed and put up for pre-order on their website one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, collection box that they've ever have come out with in the Pokemon TCG. This box is supposed to be a nod to OG collectors and TCG players of the game since the original 1999. So let's take a look at everything inside and see if it's worth buying or maybe it's not worth buying. I don't know. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the Pokemon TCG Classic. It's already sold out at the time of me making this video. It's sold out like extremely 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 fast GameStop might stop some pre-orders up uh, right now but it is a final sale item see return policy below you can only get one so only we were only able to get one of these and they're already sold out so there must have been a very like limited run of this they might not have been sure how much we're gonna be made um, and I feel like this is more of like a collector's premium item so they probably aren't gonna be making too many of these so if you look they have super super sleek awesome packaging it, it looks really really good and, and classic might I add it comes with things like three different decks, it appears. There's three different decks featuring each of the main three starters, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and uh, what looks different on these from the original base set is I think the numbering is normally red on the OG base set stuff, uh, but these have black numbering, and of course the set number is different, and they have these little like colored squares, uh, probably to symbolize what deck it is, like the Blastoise, the Venusaur, the Charizard playing deck. Um, and this is meant for people who probably are either going to keep the box sealed and never open it, or for people who are want to open it and play with just the core set of rules um, and the only OG Pokemon cards. So let's take a look at um, the description that they have here and see. So go back to the beginning with Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. This timeless collection includes three 60 card decks featuring the original first partner Pokemon, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Pokemon inspired by the Pokemon TCG base set and quintessential cards from throughout the game's long history. So I wonder how far back this goes or how far forward it goes. So the game's long history, is it going to include cards up to like the EX era, Diamond and Pearl era? We'll have to open those and we'll have to find out uh, when it comes out or more gets revealed. Um, but here, all as foil cards. So every single card is foil. That's actually really cool. And ready to play right outside of the box. In addition to the vintage favorites, six new cards including Suicune EX, Lugia EX and Ho-Oh EX, those are only three of them, make their debut. That's interesting. Probably in the Scarlet Violet style. Enhance your experience with high quality gameplay accessories like foldable two-player game board. Okay, so it's like Battle Academy in that way. Stackable damage counter cones, toolbox case that keeps everything conveniently stored for next battle. It has three of the decks, three deck boxes, three sleeve sets. I wonder if those are going to have each of the starters on it too. That would be cool. Um, one two-player game board. Uh, okay, the game board. The toolbox, damage counters, and, you know, all the other tchotchkes inside of them. Um, and I think, actually, I think the sleeves are right here. I think those are the sleeves, just like the regular, like, classic-looking card sleeve. So here's a look at some of the normal stuff, like the deck boxes. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. The deck boxes has the water, the fire, the grass in it. And uh, I wonder what the composition of these is going to be. And it looks like, um, it's really not going to be playable in normal tournaments or anything like that it's just going to be like strictly a collector's item and the other thing i wanted to point out here is there is a suicune lugia and ho -Oh ex making their debut these are normal scarlet and violet looking cards but these are going to be released in this collection box as extra promos now don't be scared i don't think you're going to need to buy a 400 dollars box to get these i believe that you're most likely going to get introduced to special promos in this one maybe with a different artwork, but there's gonna be main series set releases of these, or deck boxes or something. I can't see them holding on to like actual playable tournament able cards in a $400 box and keeping them locked behind that. So either we're probably gonna get special arts or maybe full arts or some other variant of these cards coming out in future sets. So what a lot of people are talking about really online is, is this worth $400? There's a product that released a year ago and the year before that is Battle Academy. And that is like a game board looking game. It has three different decks in it with promos and all that stuff and all the damage counters, all the extras. There's not base set theming, none of that, but it's a normal board game. And those retail for 20 bucks and you'd be lucky to sell them if you were a store for like $5. Like they are extremely immovable. Distributors stick people with them and you just can't get rid of those at all. This seems as if it is a fancy version of Battle Academy, like a fancy vintageified, that's a real word, trust me, um, like a vintageified version of Battle Academy. Um, is it worth 400? 
Should it be worth 400 though? I mean, they're really, really, really gonna go off the hype of these base set reprints here, along with all the hollow foil versions. That would be cool. They said it in the post, hollow foil versions of all the cards. So if there's like commons, uncommons of vintage cards, and you're finally getting a hollow variation, that's actually really, really, really cool. Um, but with all of that put together, value it at a $400 box, maybe with the short printing, with the custom everything put into it, possibly. Um, in my personal opinion, I feel like they've ran these three cards to the ground. The amount of reprints, especially the Charizard, there's just been so, so, so many of them that how high can the value stay on this card just with a different text on it or a different hollow pattern on it? How long can that keep going that this card is going to be that expensive? I don't know. And uh, something we'll talk about in the future is kind of Charizard fatigue. Like, are people really starting to get tired of this card? Um, is like Umbreon becoming more popular, Charizard being less popular? I don't know. But it's enough to be sold out at $400. We'll have to keep an eye on this. I would definitely say if you're looking to invest, super, 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 super risky right now. I am going to keep an eye on it. I personally am not going to be buying it. It could be one of the best holds we've ever had if you're looking to invest. It could be one of the coolest things to ever come out. I mean, to think of all those hollow cards actually seems really sick to me. I just don't know if I'm willing to pay $400 for it, to be honest with you. But let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a comment down below if you're going to buy this box, maybe you pre-ordered it already, or if you're going to skip out on it and just buy the singles. The singles could be a lot cheaper when the box comes out. But thanks for watching. Watch one of our other videos on the screen right here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Woo!